Hey everyone, my name is Justin and I'm a graduate student at the University of Colorado Boulder. Today, I'll be presenting a joint work between myself, Dr. Almagor, and Dr. Lahijani. Let's assume that we have a two-dimensional grid world environment and within it, we have some obstacles that we must avoid. There are also multiple robotic agents which would like to move from their start locations, the circles, to their goal locations, the stars, while avoiding collisions with obstacles and other agents. As we all know, this is the traditional multi-agent pathfinding problem, which may be solved using many different provably correct algorithms. These algorithms are used in mobile robotics to increase productivity in low-risk scenarios, such as warehouses. However, in safety-critical situations, these algorithms are not used because there's no trust between the algorithms and the end users. Instead, we typically end up using trained humans. For example, air traffic controllers compute plans for multiple aircraft at once, despite the availability of many algorithms that could solve the same problem. Utilizing explanations within safety critical applications would allow us to solve the problem more efficiently. For instance, we could use algorithms to compute the correct plans, use the explanation to allow the trained human to validate the plan, and then allow the human to make the final decision to execute the plan. To this end, our previous work introduced an explanation scheme for MAPF. Our method is based on decomposing the path segments where paths don't intersect. Since humans can identify intersecting lines or lack thereof very early in the cognitive process, a human can quickly validate the plan. Notice that in the segment above, it is very easy to verify that the paths do not collide because none of the lines intersect. This visualization is repeated for subsequent path segments until the entire plan is validated. So this is the solution to our explainable MAPF problem. Rather than only presenting a plan, we also present a decomposition of the path into a collection of images of disjoint segments to be presented to the human user. We call each image a segment and the collection of images an explanation. The lower the number of segments in the explanation, the easier the plan is to validate. Hence, we seek a valid plan with a small number of non-intersecting segments. Formally, we have n agents operating within a graph and we also have some start and goal vertices, which represent the initial and final points of our agents. This would be enough to solve the classic MAPF problem. However, our explainable MAPF problem will also need an explanation bound R, which is the maximum allowable number of segments within the explanation. To this end, the solution to our problem consists of two parts. The first part is our classic MAPF solution of finding safe paths for all the agents. The second part, which is new, is that the plan can be decomposed into a maximum of R segments. This particular work focuses on finding a solution to our explainable MAPF problem using conflict-based search. So the main contributions of our work are twofold. First, we present a new algorithm that we call explanation-guided conflict-based search or XGCBS, which extends conflict-based search. But as we'll see, the low levels graph search holds a pivotal role in the success rate of XGCBS. Therefore, our second main contribution are three different algorithms for explanation-guided graph search, each with its unique degree of explanation guiding. Let's begin with a refresher of CBS. CBS is a two-level search consisting of a high-level constraint tree search and a low-level graph search. The high-level constraint tree keeps track of nodes where each node represents a plan which might have collisions referred to as conflicts. Initially, a root node is obtained by using low-level graph search, typically A star, to find the path from each agent from their start to their goal. Then, CBS picks an unexplored node from the tree, simulates the plan, and identifies any conflicts. Next, CBS attempts to resolve these conflicts by creating child nodes and adding constraints. For example, if the red and blue agents collide at the highlighted vertex time point, then two children are created one with the constraint that the blue agent cannot be the vertex time point, and the other saying that the red agent cannot be there. Then each child node uses the low level search to replan for agents and newly constrained agents. This process repeats until a plan without conflicts is found. CBS is a very efficient solver for classical MAPF problem. However, it is incapable of solving our explainable MAPF problem. For instance, our new problem required a solution of R equals one. Therefore, the CBS return solution would not be correct because the plan requires greater than one segments to explain. To incorporate unsatisfiable explanations to CBS, we introduce a new conflict type known as segmentation conflicts. These conflicts occur when a plan contains greater than R segments. 
Our previous work gave us an efficient way of determining the plan's minimal disjoint decomposition. It works by starting from the beginning of the plan and greedily lengthening the current segment until an intersection occurs. We label each of the vertices with segment one, then reset the length to zero and begin growing the second segment until another intersection occurs. This process repeats until the entire plan is decomposed. The result is the minimal decomposition of a plan into its explanation. This algorithm is very efficient and runs in polynomial time. It also provides us with the vertex time points where segmentations occur, shown here in purple. These vertex time points are our segmentation conflicts. And just as in CBS, these segmentation conflicts are resolved by inducing constraints and creating child nodes. These conflicts may change the resulting segmentation at the cost of longer paths by forcing the low-level search to avoid certain intersections. This brings me to our first contribution, Explanation Guided Conflict-Based Search, or XGCBS. This algorithm works by adding segmentation conflicts to CBS. Notice here that CBS outputs the plan outlined in orange, but XGCBS continues to find and resolve segmentation conflicts until a satisfiable solution is found. One may notice how many segmentation conflicts are required to get to the desired result using A star as the low level search. Indeed, this does hinder performance in cases where the plan with our desired explanation differs greatly from the optimal plan. To this end, our second contribution are three different low level graph search algorithms for explanation guided planning. Let's begin with XGA star. Recall that A star uses cost function of F of Q, where G of Q is the path length from start to node Q, and H of Q estimates the distance to, from, uh, from Q to goal. This is optimal for path length, which may compete with the objective of our explainable MAPF problem. Therefore, XGA star uses a different cost function equivalent to the explanation length and only considers a path for tie, for tie breaking. As an example, consider the constraint tree node in the XGCBS tree where we need to replan for the red agent. As planning progresses, we may find a situation like this. A star would obviously move up since that is the most optimal action with respect to path length. However, this causes a segmentation and an increase in our explanation length. A star recognizes this and instead expands the left action, keeping the explanation length minimal. This process repeats until the path producing the optimal explanation is found. The first advantage of XG's A star is that it considers the explanation while planning, which allows it to make drastic changes to paths that are often essential for making shorter explanations. And though it may differ greatly than A star, this algorithm is complete. However, there is one disadvantage of XGA star and that it is that it must store the history of all the partial paths it finds during planning in order to accurately calculate the explanation cost. It also spends a lot of time searching for unobtainable paths. For example, in this space, XGA star must exhaust all possible one segment paths inside the yellow region before making it meaningful progress towards the goal. This problem only gets worse as the MAPF instance gets more difficult. Therefore, we need a more efficient way to guide our graph search towards short explanations. If A star with path cost is one side of the spectrum of efficiency, XG A star is on the other side. This brings me to our next algorithm, weighted XG A star. Here, we find a theoretical compromise between A star's considerance of path length and XG's A star's considerance of the explanation. We can tune this by placing a weight on XG A star's cost. The cost function of WXGA star may be thought of as a scale where W places the algorithm's behavior somewhere in the middle of the two extreme cases. Lower weights mean that your search will prefer shorter plans and may increase the explanation length to do so. Conversely, higher weights will prefer longer paths with shorter explanations. WXGA star maintains the same advantages of XGA star, plus having the ability to tune its efficiency based on specific use cases. Unfortunately, WXGA star also inherits the disadvantage of needing to save the path history while planning. The weight parameter also poses a problem for designers as this is often instance specific. Our third and final algorithm strives to remove the pitfalls of XGA star and WXGA star by removing their dependency on path history and removing any tuning parameter. Instead of considering the exact length of the explanation, we can simply avoid adding new segment to the existing partial plan while replanning for a single agent. 
segment respecting A star incentivizes paths to fit inside the existing explanation, which is exactly what XG A star attempts to do in the first place. This time though, we run efficient A star while treating the existing explanation as time dependent obstacles. Consider the same example as before, SR A star turns the blue path into a set of obstacles for the first five time steps. This allows it to go around the blue agent. And then once the time step of node Q is greater than four, the initial objects corresponding to the first segment disappear and new ones appear for the second segment. In this case, there is no second segment and no additional obstacles are created, allowing SR A star to quickly reach the goal. SR A star finds the same path as XG A star, but is much quicker because we no longer need to save the path history, nor do we waste time exhausting useless paths. SR A star offers many advantages compared to other algorithms, including the fact that it is no tuning parameter and does not store the history of the paths. It is, its only disadvantage is that it is incomplete in general. So now I'd like to talk about the performance of these algorithms. We present an extensive experimental section that consists of illustrative examples and benchmark evaluations. Overall, 7, 000, over 7,000 MMPF instances were tested during with using XGCBS with different low-level search techniques. The performance of these algorithms were compared in terms of success rate, computation time, and explanation. I'll begin with showing an illustrative example. The plan you see was outputted by CBS. Experts may trust the plan due to their knowledge of CBS and expertise in MAPF. However, a human non-expert may get concerned with seeing so many intersections of the paths. We can use our explanation scheme to explain the path to the user. However, this requires more images than there are agents, which may undermine the explanation completely. Therefore, XGCBS offers the human users the ability to calculate a different plan that can be explained much easier. Moving on to the benchmark evaluation, let's begin looking at the explanation length or plan index returned by all of the algorithms. Here, I have compiled the results for a 16 by 16 environment. Each section of the figure shows the results for a different agent number inside of the environment where we ran CBS and XGCBS with all versions of low level search. The first solution, first and best flags, tell you that the explanation length of the first solution and the best solution returned by XGCBS using that specific graph search. General trends show that CBS regularly outputted lengthy explanations. These solutions could be improved using XGCBS with any of the low-level search algorithms. However, A star only allows minimal, A star only allowed for minimal decrease of the XG while using XG A star and SR A star offered the greatest amount of decrease due to their ability to drastically change the paths of the agents. As expected, WXG A star fits somewhere in the middle of these two extremes. Moving on to success rate. We see how the history dependence of the graph search hinders XGCBS's ability to produce satisfiable plans. Notice how the success rate of WXGA star generally gets worse as the weight increases. This unfortunate behavior is attributed to the history dependence of the search and time it takes to compute the explanation cost while searching. WXGA star did in fact beat XGA star, which had the lowest success rate of all the algorithms due to its time spent exhausting useless path segments. A different story comes from SR A star, which performs similarly to A star while offering significant decrease in the plan index. Overall, CBS always outputted the longest explanations out of the algorithms. On smaller, less congested environments, XG CBS with A star worked well from, from making small changes to the paths over the course of resolving many segmentation conflicts. As the environment got more congested, XGA star or WXGA star offered smaller explanations. On larger environments, more con larger, more congested environments, XGCBS with SRA star was a clear winner. In fact, this algorithm outperformed CBS in largest, most congested environments. In conclusion, this work presented a CBS based algorithm for solving our explainable MAPF problem. In addition, we offered the user three choices of low level graph search to fit their respective needs. Future work in this domain could include adapting other MAPF solvers to our explainable setting. And finally, I want to mention that if you have any interest in using our work, the code is available on GitHub using the following QR code. 
Thank you all for coming and I look forward to answering any questions you all might have.